Where'd you be at on this box? What'd you do a deal on that whole box? I'd probably be at like 500 best offer. What's going on guys? I am in Shipshawana, Indiana. There was a big sports card show here today and I wanted to come out here and see what I could find as far as bulk cards to flip on whatnot. You guys might have seen the video where I went to the national card show in Atlantic City. It's been, I think it's been over a month now and I did really good out there. I found a lot of good cards, flipped them for some good profit on whatnot. So I'm going to try to do the same thing today. Fifteen bucks a piece for the, the okay. Zions. You got fifteen of them. Would you get like one hundred twenty-five if I just bought them all? I'm here to move stuff. One last thing I gotta bring here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Your videos get me through the day, man. Oh, awesome, man! I appreciate that. What's your name? John. John. Yep, nice My name's John too. Nice to meet you. You guys set up here a lot? Yeah, I've been. Yeah. How long have they been doing it now? Oh, quite a while. Now. Has it been a while? This is my first time coming here. It's a busy show. Yesterday, the train match are really busy. So anything in these three boxes yeah. is going to be make offers on. Okay. Or, we'll, or, or if we know they're big price items. Gotcha. We'll is there any these like all, cheaper boxes? These are dollar. I think these are two dollar boxes. This is our. These are twenty dollar slabs, ten dollar slabs, dollar cards, two for a dollar. Gotcha. And then it's still selling fast. I've already sold put five big stacks of stuff out of it. It's priced to sell. Cool. cool. And I'm gonna, as we go during the day, I'll probably start filling these back in with more stuff. Gotcha. Know, dollar cards, two dollar cards. I got sixty or ten dollars. Yeah, I might get some of your 20s, but I thought I'd at least settle Start up with these slow. before I uh, yeah, get them like Thanks divided up. Yeah, thank you, man. Would you take an offer on your whole two dollar box? Uh, you got a number in mind? Uh, About 200 bucks. Yeah, All right, I appreciate it, man. You go, good luck to you. Would you take an offer on your whole box of Jordans? What are you thinking? About hundred bucks. No, that's even more than that. We're in Chicago, so we have a ton of deal for Oh, okay, gotcha. What would you need for the whole box? I have to ask my partner. Okay. Um, but I think it'd be way more than a hundred. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Just want to say a big fan of the video. Appreciate it, man. What's your name? Jamal. Jamal, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like the Simpsons shirt. I appreciate it. That's that. awesome. Thank you. All right, thanks. I want to sell the whole box. But I would sell, I mean, you could make an offer on it, maybe. But I said no. Thanks. Are these, which which is the so, dollar so box? These are, they're all dollar, this is 50 cents. 50 cents, Basically. these are dollar. Yep, gotcha. buy 10, get three free. I think it's a buck. Here's some hurts and stuff is back here. Okay. That's hiding. Where would you be on this whole box? Uh, this whole box? So these were my five 
two to five dollar boxes. Yeah. At one point, and I'm just like, screw it. Um, so yeah, this is more of the. What do you there's these two. Yeah. I do like. 70? 70 bucks? Yeah. I just rounded up to 100 bucks, man. Go for it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, go make your money. Yeah, that's the deal. I'm not trying to pull one over on you. You're good. 20, 40, it's probably 50. 200. There you go, at man. Least. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, of course. What'd you be at on this box? Would you do a deal on that whole box? This am I might have to look at. This is all my buddies, so... Oh, okay. No, no, this, these cards, so... Gotcha. All this is mine. Yeah, feel free to pull out whatever you need to pull out. No, no, you're good. I'd probably be at, like... It's tough. Um, 500, best offer. Okay. I mean, we can kind of go, you can kind of look through it again and kind of go yeah. from there. Um, I'm not big on UFC. Yeah. If I took the UFC out, I'd do 300 bucks. I do four for everything. I go 350 without the UFC. Nah, we just 350 would probably be my toss. Meet me in the middle at 375. He has an Instagram. Plus his All right, let's do it, man. If I buy 10 of these, would you go $7 a piece? Uh, it depends which 10. You <laughs> could take all three. Right, right, yeah. No, I could mix it up a little bit. All right, I got 10, about 70 for those. I was in the slow now, but I picked it back up the last few weeks here. It's a pretty good deal. Sure. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Try to do. Uh, I need 25. Thank you. Good luck to you. What's up guys? I am back in town from the card show in Ship Shawan. I had a good time, got a lot of really good stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm gonna show you what I bought. All right, so here are the cards I bought. I got 31 booklet cards. If you guys don't know what booklet cards are, it's basically this card that folds and typically has a patch or an auto, sometimes both. And they're pretty collectible. Everybody seems to really like booklet cards. It's something neat that the hobby came out with. I don't know when they started doing it, but it's definitely a neat card, looks really cool. Here's what it looks like in a case. I got 31 of these. He wanted to give them to me for like 20 bucks. I'm like, that's way too cheap. So I gave him 40 bucks. None of these players are like highly sought after players, but even still, these at minimum are worth like five bucks a piece. So at $40, I'm into them for a little under $1.50 each. I'm thrilled with that price. I got a ton of graded cards as well. Uh, the first place I stopped at, the guy was definitely wanting to deal. He had, a box of 15 Zion rookies, and every one of them was PSA 9, and he had 15 bucks a piece on them, and I threw him an offer of 125 bucks, and he's like, yep, let's do it, so I jumped all over that. I think it's like $8.50 a card, something like that is what I'm into these for uh, at that price. You know, we got Illusions, Classics, this is a cool one with Barkley, Marquee. Nothing high dollar, but a lot of these, pretty much most of them are like $25 cards. So I was really happy to get that. From the same guy, I bought six slabs at like 10 a piece, I think. We've got an Acuna rookie, PSA 9. There's this Holiday rookie. Let's see, I'm pretty sure these Bregmans were a different buy. And there's some more Zions. I'm trying to figure out, because <laughs> I, <made, laughs> I made like three different rated card buys. Here's another Acuna rookie and a nine. Early Bowman Chrome Acuna. This is a cool one. Hurst rookie and a nine. Mahomes Prism and a nine. Uh, so those were all ten apiece and then I made a deal on these right here. Uh, a guy was asking ten bucks a slab and I was like hey if I do ten of them 
would you do seven dollars and he was kind of like yeah it just depends like if you take all my trouts i probably can't do it i'm like okay so i took a few trouts 2013 i love this jimenez prism refractor another trout i just love that shot of him running out of the dugout really cool jeter tops chrome uh tatis holiday rookie another trout making a diving catch this is an early one too that's a second year card for him uh franco prospects and an eight Luis Arias for the Twins, just absolutely crushing the ball this season. He's got, I think he's second right now in average in the league. He was leading the AL in average for a long while. Uh, there's a Bregman Prism Refractor and a Javi Baez Topps Chrome PSA 9. So all of those for $7 a piece, thrilled with that price. I'm not going to get rich off of those. There's nothing high dollar there, but I really like having graded cards for my whatnot auctions. So I was all over that. All right, also from the guy that I got all the Zion slabs from, he had a $2 box. And I was looking through here and saw a lot of good cards. Anthony Edwards rookie, I think I saw Khalil Mack rookie in there. Some Zion, some Shohei Otanis. And what I like to do when I'm trying to buy a whole box is, first I'm seeing what they're asking for it, like what their price is, and I look to see if their prices are, you know, a good value already as it is and I feel like a lot of these two dollar cars are pretty much a good value so that's when I try to make a play on the whole box because if I'm looking through a box and you know everything's like five dollars and it's like dollar or two dollar cards then I, they're probably going to be too far apart you know it just it's kind of like a just shoot from the hip type thing just kind of like a feel for it but I had a good feel for this box and it was a good variety so there's football basketball baseball I saw a couple J rods in here Bowman Chrome. So I liked the box and he was dealing. So I was like, hey, what would you do on the whole box? And I think he had me shoot the number and I came at him with 200. He's like, yep, that's good with me. So I got the whole box for 200 bucks. There are more than 200 cards in here. If I had to guess, I would say probably about 400 cards. So I'm into them for about 50 cents a piece. And I think a lot of these will sell for like $5 and up. Like we got a Julio Jones number 25. Here is that Khalil Mack rookie I was telling you about. Aquino, I like that. I'll definitely keep the Reds cards from in here. Nice Verlander prism. Definitely some decent cards. It was funny. It was the first table I stopped at, and I kind of planned on going around the whole show first just to kind of get a feel for it. But the deal was in front of me. It was a good deal, and I didn't really want to pass it up because the guy was kind of having a fire sale. He said anything he didn't sell, he was going to send to consignment he's like i'm just blowing it all out so i'm like okay that's awesome and that's kind of how you do these things if you guys are wanting to go to card shows and buy cards to flip it's just a numbers game talk to everybody you know see if they're wanting to sell a whole box of cards because a lot of people won't uh, like that jordan box i was trying to buy they set up at shows in chicago so they can slow play that box and sell it off you know one two at a time and do good on it and make money. They didn't want to sell the whole box and that's totally fine. That's why you just go around and talk to a bunch of people because you will find people that want to sell a whole box and a lot of times it's for a pretty good price. Okay, another box I made a deal on is this one right here. This was, again, this is probably, probably like 500 cards, honestly. There's so many in this one. And he said this was like his dollar box even though like he he kind of pointed out like, yeah, I had some of these priced at like three to five dollars and he's like, I decided to just blow them all out. So there's nothing insane in here, but there's some decent cards. Again, I looked through all of these, found some cards that I liked and you know thought it'd be a good value. And I think it was a pretty good mix too. I think there's a lot of basketball, but then there's some baseball and football too. Yeah, there's some decent names. There's the Ant-Man rookie, James Wiseman rookie. A little bit of UFC, which I really don't know much about. Yeah, more Anthony Edwards rookies, some John Morantz in here. Yeah, I think this box is pretty heavy on basketball now that I'm flipping through it. Just a little bit of football in front here. And I was like, you know what, Virginia for the box? And he came at me with like $70. I'm like, that's way, way cheap. Really didn't want to shortchange him, so I'm like, let's just round it up to $100 because I'm, I'm getting these for like... 10 cents, 20 cents a piece or something like that. I mean, shoot, if you wouldn't bought this many top loaders, it would probably cost you close to $100. There's a Jamar Chase rookie. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Uh, once again, nothing in here is 
high dollar, but there's a lot of like five to ten dollar cards, and that's uh, my perfect wheelhouse for cards that I run on whatnot. So I was thrilled to pay a hundred bucks on this box. Okay, the last box I bought was also from the guy I got the hundred dollar box from. This was like a little bit of his better stuff, kind of like the five, ten, twenty dollar cards, and he had most of them priced out. And I wanted to make a play on this. That's typically what I like to do. If somebody's willing to work with me, they're wanting to move stuff and their prices are good, I try to buy more than just one box. This one was a little bit trickier. Um, he pulled out the high dollar cards, which I was fine with. I think he had like some $30, $40 cards in there. He pulled out the UFC and then like some of his were his buddies. So the box was getting thin really quick. And he came at me with like 500 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. And I was like, you know, take out the UFC and I'll do 300. And we kept going back and forth. I think we landed on 375. And it was a little bit of an overpay. There are some good cards in here. Like here's a Luis Arias uh, numbered. There's some autographs, some Wanda Franco's in here, some patches, Brady's, Najee Harris, Justin Fields rookies. There's a Najee Harris patch. That's pretty cool. Zach Wilson, Rashad Bateman. There's definitely some good cards in here. Zion rookies, LeBron's. And I think I'll make a little bit. Definitely not going to get rich on this deal, but I kind of look at it as like a lump deal between this one and that $100 box because I got an absolute steal of a deal on that $100 box. So to pay up on this one to $375, i am okay with. So I'm just kind of looking at it as the two boxes at $475. But yeah, definitely a lot of really good cards that I'm excited to run on whatnot. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.